Hi my friend and welcome to part number 13 in this playlist so in this video we are going to be actually taking a look at uh, the chat invitation we are going to make it we are going to be making the database for it and also how we can you can we can do it so in terms of logic creating backend uh, documents or you know all of that we are going to be seeing that in this video so without any further ado let's get into it but don't forget to go right now and subscribe to this channel and also turn on the bell icon so you will not miss any of my upcoming videos so go and do it right now it will not take you uh, a minute so go go it will take you only two seconds so go do it right now and let's go for uh, the chat feature so the first thing we need to do and you should always do is to actually talk actually toggle the backend first or the database structure of your app first before you do anything in in the app so i think we should actually come uh where should we where should we go so i think uh, so for the uh, you know you have some sort of uh, uh, invitation for a chat so you can come here and add the backend so you know we, we can actually use a sub collection so for each user we're gonna have some invitation that that user have got so or where was actually sent so we can uh so i don't guarantee that this is the you know the 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 perfect structure to go with but you know it's let's see it so let's say chat invitation so chat invitation so we can create that and then here we want to uh, we want to say sender which is going to be a user of course so well uh, wh what should we do next so we know we know uh, we know we can have like uh, time so uh, when it was sent and we can add like state which is a boolean so we can have like uh boolean means that it was either if it is on then it, it was accepted it was if it we no actually we don't have to do that right so i think we should like uh, you know uh we can use accepted you know we have like boolean we can uh, rejected rejected right boolean again and we can have like state which is like you know uh pending or whatever so i i really don't uh, uh, think it's going to be useful anyway we we're going to be making some updates uh, along with the way as i told you before guys i'm building this app with you i will try to you know uh build apps with you i i haven't planned for this i haven't actually uh, built it before because if i have done that you know i will be skipping so much things and i want to put you you know in the process you will be looking at me and building an app and always understanding what i do so it's going to be you know so much uh, uh, useful for you guys so you know we let's actually stick to this one and now let's actually go and take a look at the design and how we can do it In this step, let's actually take a look at how we do it. So, right, uh, I think we should go first to where we find people. So, we can see that the invitation we need to actually find them first. So, where we sh should we do that? So, I think it is inside the find people. So, this is actually what we have been doing lately. So, for the, you know, the follow and the un unfollow, uh, you know, that is it. And I think that. Uh, uh, here we can actually find a way to uh, send the invitation right so you will not be able to send someone an invitation unless you follow him or her so now what we are doing is that we are going to be making some rules for the app you will not be so we are going to be doing some restrictions so you cannot chat with someone that you not don't follow you know uh, and just uh, i want to tell you that uh, these rules or restrictions you can change them if you like you can just get the idea and go ahead and do your own stuff build your own algorithm and rules 
of your app but for me i'm going to be making it like that so you can choose and if we have if you for example if let's say you have another idea you have another way of doing the rules the way that you want and the way that you see it's going to be working and more beneficial than what i think is going to be good so feel free to put in the comment section and let's actually learn together and see what each other think of this app so because we are building it together right so what should we do here is we're going to be going to the to the stack okay, just close this one just like that and then we want to wrap that i want to wrap that inside a, a, a column because we want to add something below it right we want to have like a, uh like a button so just like that so we may want to just like change the color uh you see now flutterflow has like updated the way we select colors so t i really like this so we can make it success and say like uh, invite or chat you can you know choose whatever you like so we can uh, like uh, so we, c we can just uh, space that space it or space them a uh, little further so uh, yes and this has to actually this is uh, the our topic so we can come here and you know uh, create a document so where we should create this document so we need to create an invite but for which user so so we are inviting this guy that is why we are going to be creating uh an invitation in in his inside his co self collection so the collection is going to be like a uh, charge invitation and for which user so it's not the authentication user himself it is the other user because you are inviting him you are not inviting yourself this is uh, the way i think of it as i told you you can change you can totally change the way you think of it it's not make it's not going to make a problem and uh, i really enjoy uh actually uh seeing you guys thinking uh, creatively and out of the box and uh, what i enjoy the most is that you will share that in the comment section don't hide it share it so you can learn all together so anyway uh we were here so for each which user which is this one so which is the user of course not the authenticated user it is the user so and uh, i think it's gonna be yes this one so we need to up do, uh, you know apply the same for this one as well so it's not a problem we can we you can do it on your own so uh we want to create fields so uh, you know they are somehow simple so for the sender now the sender is the authentication user because he sent that invite right time is you know the current time of course so yes and accept it's going to be false by default rejection also false by default right so uh, that is what we need to do but now actually let's take a look at where we should see the invites and you know how we can accept it accept them or reject them anyway or let's actually leave it to the next video so this uh you know w was a very fast video but we have forgotten to add it for this one for you know this one here right so let's like uh, you know do the same thing but some things are gonna be not are gonna be changed you will see that here so do the same process again so just copy this button don't there is no need to do it again so copy it and you know paste it here so we can come to the column and add like 10 and got it you see that we have an error so uh, we have the error here so the sender is going to be this one is you know it is uh, correct the time uh, so where is the error so you see action to create sub collection document has a parent reference that is not properly set for button yes so the parent reference this is so for the user so so here so let's say so this or here we had a backend call so we check it directly from the backend call but now we have 
another way which is dynamic children so the reference is not going to be from here or this from this type it is going to be from this type so let's come here and instead of uh, choosing this one which is not actually visible let's 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 actually choose this one and go to uh, use the reference confirm and let's actually so we have fixed that issue we can go and fix it the one which is just you know uh, deploying some rules so and by the way whenever you create a new uh, collection you need to just change the rules however you want so for me in my test i always make it uh, widely open and then you can click on deploy you can deploy it as well as uh, the indexes so you can get rid of that error which is this one and that is it guys so thank you so much for watching i hope that you have actually enjoyed this video if you do and if you really uh, uh, you know appreciate my efforts you can support my work on coffee again the link in the first link in the description so uh, go there and support me with whichever you can so i can keep going and create keep creating more and more advanced videos for you guys and you can actually check out the benefits of becoming one of my coffee members you can check it you can see and learn all of that in the link in the description so thank you so much for guys for watching i hope you have enjoyed this video so uh, if you are looking for the next video on this uh, playlist so it is right here so go click it click on it right now so you can watch it if you want and if it doesn't show up right here which means that it is not posted yet then go subscribe to this channel and also turn on the bell icon so when it is posted you will be the first one to be notified so thank you guys so much for watching and see you in the next video